on YouTube. It's uh, Thursday morning, January 16th or 17th. And it's terrible, I don't even know. And I'm flying to LA today. I have a few days of shooting, a few weeks of shooting with uh, some other cool industry events that we're working with and uh, involved with different measures. But I wanted to share a few thoughts that were going through my head. So I was speaking with a friend of mine as I was packing last night and we were texting and he lives in London and he's a very, very prominent hairstylist in the world. And he was just kind of catching up. We haven't had the chance to catch up and talk in a while. And he was asking me about how things were going. And I said, you know, things were, were going really well. And we were kind of, we were discussing the, kind of what's going on in the industry. The fact that he's so heavily into fashion, that's his focus. And he, in my mind, is at the top. He's at the, the top of the pyramid, the top of the tree. And he was asking how my world's been and he was giving me some praise about me letting go and just getting after some stuff and just giving up uh, fear of everything. And, you know, one thing that I said was that a lot of people in my world hold me up on a pedestal and give me praise and that's something that I don't do for myself. Not because I don't think that I'm worthy, it's just it's not who I am. Uh, I always, being an athlete, have the mentality and I've always had the mentality that it's never good enough because that's what keeps you working harder and I think one of the things that he helped shift for me last night is instead of looking at our careers like a, a pyramid instead of looking at things like a tree and looking at the treetop look at them as different circles on a flat surface and even though there might be people that you look at and look up to or there might be people that you look at and see as above you don't look at it as higher or below or above look at it as you're just on different parallels on a platform on a plane and you just kind of live in different circles and i think the the reference he used was kind of like the game of thrones you know just like the different maps and territories and i appreciated that i thought that that was really cool because it, it helps just kind of isolate the world that you're working in, what's relevant to you, and really your circle. So, if things are going that direction for you in your head, and you're anything like me, and you're always pushing to what's next, and always aspiring to be, and never, uh, not necessarily being content or satisfied, but never really giving yourself that praise, and always looking to see what you can do better, don't lose that strength and that, that courage, but more importantly, see yourself as your own circle and not as competition with everyone else. Because especially right now, more than ever, I feel, at least in the hair industry, our world is changing. It's, it's much more dynamic and we have the opportunity to do so much more. So those are my thoughts. Uh, love you all. Talk soon.